minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> The year men first stepped foot on the moon. Nixon, first year in office. Another year, American boys were fighting half the world away. Some knew exactly why they were there. Some had no idea what they were doing there. And some just got the hell out of there. So the legend goes, there lived a man, a big brave man, a man called Rainbow. The bottom jeans and love beads they say our hero wore, platform shoes and peace signs and leather fringe and more. When things got rough and men got tough, he headed for the door. Meanwhile, in Washington, kids protested the war they didn't believe in. Draft cards were burned, candles were burned, buildings were burned, frogs were burned. Other than that, it was a normal working day at the District of Columbia Record and Tape Club. Well, come on, all of you big, strong men. Buckle, Sam. Hey, turn that hippie noise off. Uh, this is the District of Columbia Record and Tape Club. And we don't allow that cami, pinko, long-haired radical music in this building. It's subversive, dangerous, anti-American, primitive, jungle rhythm, hormone-inducing, devil-worshipping, violence-causing, riot. Okay, Whitey, I see what you're saying, but you gotta understand, I, I've been a-collecting now for 16 years. What would happen to Helga and the kids if some cheap punk blows me away two months before I'm due to retire? But Bjorn, you're the best we've got. I wouldn't ask you if it wasn't a very special case. Okay, let's go see what Madame Rose has got on this punk. You go first. Oh, hi, Vitey. Hi, Bjorn. How's it hanging? Hi, Reza. Could you conjure up case 1023, please? I'll try. Customer number AR354-638. Name, Private James T. Ramro. Crime, failure to pay shipping and handling. Amount owed, $6.95. Wait a minute. I'm getting an alias. He likes to be called... Hippie punk. Hmm. Rainbow. Rainbow? What's his background, Rosa? Inducted into U.S. Army May 23rd, 1968. August 13th, he arrives in Saigon. November 27th, he runs away. Yellow chicken punk coward. Where is he now? Sorry, wrong channel. He's at Bethesda Naval Hospital. Psychiatric ward. Why is he there? Hmm. He listened to this album 39 times. Backwards. Uh-huh. That's the free introductory album he ordered from us. He got it over eight months ago, and he still hasn't paid the $6.95 shipping and handling charge. Here he is just after electroshock therapy. It didn't work. I sing because I'm happy I sing because I'm rich. Watch this, Rosa. Unusually strong interference. <laughs> Shh. 
send me money. Or I'll hold my breath until I turn blue. What kind of idiot would send money to that loony tune? I did. Really? Me too. Hey, so did I. Oh, looks like we're back online. Listen, guys. I'm cool. Any last requests? Conjure up his Playbo data sheet, please, Rosa. Let's kill him. Mm, we can't. Our orders are to just confront him and demand our money at gunpoint. If that doesn't work, well... You leave that to me, Whitey. I'm used to dealing with these cheap, long-haired comic cowards. So what's your first move, partner? Well, I don't know about you, but I got a pinch of loaf like you wouldn't believe. And then I'll probably wipe and flush. No, flush first. I, I mean about this rainbow guy. Oh, we'll go to the nut house and get him. Come on into the men's room with me. We'll talk about it. Love to. Annoying Neanderthal, stinking bad, greeting card, offensive, smelly, sinful, fishy. And besides that, I don't like it. I can't wait to bust this draft dodging punk yarn. Hey, Whitey, how come you didn't join us? Uh, flat feet? Mm. of Columbia Wrecking Tape Club. Open up, or we'll huff, and we'll puff, and we'll blow your house in. Oh, wise guy! Spread out. Where's Rainbow? He escaped. You just missed him. Shut the door and you're letting all the gravity in. <laughs> program to bring you a special news bulletin. In Washington, Pentagon officials report the escape of Private Jim Ramrock from the high security ward at Bethesda Naval Hospital, where he was being held for psychiatric evaluation. Private Ramrock, the youngest ever military advisor to an enemy army, apparently snapped after listening to Al Chipmunk sing the Beatles album 39 times backwards, where he reported hearing a message from either God or Timothy Leary, advising him to tune in, turn on, and drop out. Which he probably did. Immediately changed his name to Rainbow and appeared before his commanding officer, Stark Nick, and a homemade peace symbol hanging on him. Forcing his superior at gunpoint to, and I quote, fight the big one. Said to be armed and extremely dangerous, and last seen in a stolen white Volkswagen bug. Rex, the run. And now back to our regularly scheduled programming. Yo, I better ditch the car. It's a dirty hippie. Hey, yo. Uh, I didn't want to ride anyway. I like to walk. <laughs> horse. Hey, yo, horse. Uh, you want to give me a ride into town or what? <sighs> hey, yo, horse. I'm talking to you. I want some weed? Yo, horse. Don't you speak American? Ah, dumb animal. <laughs> Get your stinking paws off me, you damn dirty ape. I'm not dirty. Uh, so you want to give me a ride into town or what? No way, Wilbur. You smell like you just stepped in dog crap. It's, uh, it's rainbow. I'll give you ten bucks. Beat it. 
All right, 11, cash. What the hell good's money gonna do me? I'm a freaking horse. Blow me in, you gotta do. Yeah, right. Yeah, I'll see you in a can of dog food. Nice buns. Hey, come on back here, sweet cake. We'll go for a roll in the hay. You don't know what you're missing. I'm hung like a horse. <laughs> Hey man, that horse giving you a hard time? Yeah. Hop in the back. Hey, yo, thanks. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot, mm -hmm. man. Hey, be careful. Let's hold him. I'm a rainbow, why you? Uh, what are you trying to say? I'm a rainbow, why you? I can't understand what you're saying. Uh, try using your tongue when you talk. My on. Uh huh. My on. Tongue, tongue, tongue. Hey, that really works. I said my name's Rainbow. What's yours? Pebbles von Raisin Brand. What kind of name's that? An expensive one. You want to get naked and wrestle? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Something smells. Is it you? I don't smell anything. Kind of smells to me like you stepped in dog poo. I think he's kind of cute. Ew. Don't make me whip. What the? Hey, there's cooties in here. What'd you expect? We're hippies. What are you making? Hmm. It's the ancient art of Nanya. <laughs> <laughs> Nanya? Yeah, none your damn business. He's stupid, but he's cute. I'm sorry, that was mean. That's all right, I'm used to it. I'm creating a new line of exotic jewelry. Eh, uh, gagic? You know, the kinky stuff. Sadomasochistic bondage and discipline accessories, mm -hmm. nipple clips, pecker rings, that sort of thing. I never use them. Mmm, you should. Hey, Pebbles, show them how you measure for size. <laughs> like this. Mwah! Yo, I'll take one. You probably can't afford it. On weekends, I go into New York and sell to the leisure, upscale, decadent, capitalist pig crowd. Hey, didn't I read about you in Life magazine? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what do you do? Well, right now I'm an escapee from the loony bin, mm -hmm. but uh, I'm going to be mm -hmm. number one at the box office in about 15 years. Did you hear that, everyone? Banjo's going to be number one at the box office. <laughs> it's rainbow. Nice place. It's a one-third way house for struggling hippies. It belongs to Tiny Tim's twin brother, hung like a donkey Tim. Hey, yo, Pebbles, don't move. That cootie's on your head. Not anymore. By the way, Limbo, leave your shoes on the porch. It's Rainbow. Yo, wait up. So you always making a gaggy jewelry or what? Mm-hmm. I sell it to finance radical group in the city. The SLY. SLY? What's that spell? Sly. Hmm. Pretty catchy name. It's an abbreviation. <laughs> it stands for the seriously lobotomized yippies. We're an ultra-right-winged, moderate, anti-moderate, capitalist, left-of-center, conservative, horseshoe Marxist, protesting, brawn draft card burning, anti-war freedom peace love friendship jello malice racial equality and rock and roll organization. <gasps> Wanna poke? I only poke guys who sympathize with the cause. I sympathize with the cause? So you want to be on top of what? You know, you're very persistent. We could use someone like you in our group. Right now we're lacking leadership. The guy who's running things, Giuseppe, he's okay, but he can't really think for himself. He's kind of like, I don't know, like a robot. <laughs> we need someone who can take charge, make snap decisions, and not crack under pressure. Maybe you could do it. I'm your guy. Now you want to poke? Hey, get your hand off my... Filthy bead, take two. And keep your hands to yourself this time, Tato. Uh, yo, hang on a second, there's a cootie on me.
want to poke. I only poke guys who sympathize with the cause. I sympathize with the cause, so you want to be on top of what? You know, you're very persistent. We could use someone like you in our group. Right now we're lacking leadership. The guy who's running things, Giuseppe, he's okay, but he can't really think for himself. He's kind of like, I don't know, like a robot. <laughs> we need someone who can take charge, make snap decisions, and not crack under pressure. Maybe you could do it. Uh, 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 cut! Uh, cut! Cut! Well, sorry. You're sorry! Stupid piece of celery. Shall we start over? Screw it! Let's move on! Action! Look, we're going into the city tomorrow. I'll give you the address and the secret password. And you can meet the gang. Yeah, sure you don't want to ride my pink pony? Mm -hmm. Only after you've proved yourself worthy to the cause, then I'm all yours. <laughs> Good night, gringo. Hey, yo, it's, it's rainbow. <laughs> Morning, Bono. Morning. Sleep well? <laughs> no, I was, I was too horny. Not me. Want a poke? Why are you wearing the rug? Well, it's stuck. Weird karma. <laughs> <laughs> now remember, the gang is meeting at 237 East Watt Street. The password is ready. Yeah, go ahead. You go ahead? Yeah, go ahead. What's the password? No, Dodo. Read my lips. What's the street? The password is ready. So am I. Ready to... Hey, anybody seen the rug? Shh, don't tell her. Yeah, Crossbow's wearing it. Go on. Ready to what? <laughs> Watch the street, right? Okay. Now you've got the street. You're ready for the password. Ready is the password. Hey, anybody seen that rug Danny puked on? You mean the rug we lined the birdcage with? Yeah, the rug the cat sprayed. Oh, you mean the rug we used to dye for the buffalo? Jumbo's wearing it! Hey, yo, it's Rainbow. Oh, no wonder it's stuck. So, uh, who do I tell ready to at what street? <gasps> no, you're not listening to me. Who's on first? Tell Gouda ready at what street. Gouda. Yeah, and leave the rug. Hey, yo, cabbie, 237 East Watt Street. Step on it. You okay there, Mac? Hey, yo, it's a rainbow. Seven. Hey, looking for someone? Hey, yo, you Gouda? Perhaps, what's the password? What's the street? Forgot the password. Mm, tell you where it is. Fair cookie. Uh -oh. Room 312. Ask for Giuseppe. And the password? Mm. Ready the password is. 312 Giuseppe, ready. Right on! 312 Giuseppe, ready. 312 Giuseppe. Yeah, yeah. Ready. Smells to me like you stepped in Wookiee chips, Gouda. 212 June Septic. No, Rodent. Is that you? Six Jack no, Oakey Rabbit. Eight. Pylon renews it. Four. Oh, here's the doorbell. Man, it's open! Yo, is this room four? Yes. Oh, you must be Giuseppe. Ciao, for 30 bucks, I'm whoever you want me to be. But no rough stuff. Uh, ready? I was born ready. So how do you want it? On the waterbed, under the waterbed, standing, sitting, upside down in the tub, with the camel, on the broken glass, and in the forced air heater. No, the password's ready. Oh, you must be Obo. Ooh, something smells. Is that you? No, I think it's my shoes. It smells like bubble gum. Uh, yeah, that's it. Well, Pebble said you was coming. 
Come on out, guys. It's Satchmo. Hey, yo, it's it's Rainbow. Who let this guy in? Yeah, she did. Who are you? The name's Seppi. Just Seppi. I thought she was Giuseppe. No, I'm Aretha. Uh, Aretha. Hmm. Uh, I'm Rain. Uh, Bo Rain, Bo. Pebble sent me. How do we know Pebble sent you, man? <clears throat> uh, I'm wearing regagic jewelry. See? Looks like a custom fit. That's close enough. Did she measure you? Uh, no, I did it myself. Mm. That doesn't prove anything. What color is Pebble's hair? Uh, she's kind of a dish towel a brunette. He's right. She is a brunette. Could have been a lucky guess, Aretha. What color are Pebble's eyes? Mm, periwinkle? He's right. They are periwinkle. I'm still not convinced. How many lips does she have? And two. And no, wait, no. Yeah, two. <laughs> now you believe him? Yeah, I guess. Welcome to the SLY, man. Yo, thanks. <laughs> hey, you, shut the door. <laughs> Do I know you? Uh, I'm Rainbow. The Pebble sent me. See? Murthy. <laughs> nice jewels. Yeah, thanks. I measured them myself. Mind if I check them out? Sure, why not? <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> I'm Lloyd. La Lloyd. La Lloyd? Yeah, three L's. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell you got there, Bingo? Uh, nothing. Nuh uh, he got a cootie, I saw. Canada, Aretha. Hey, you a pepper? Huh? I'm a pepper. He's a pepper. Uh, hey, yo, is she a pepper? Yep. She's a pepper, too. Yeah, that's all my. Right on. Uh. So, how the hell did you turn down the pebbles? Yeah. Tell us, Shamu, how did you get turned down to pebbles? Uh, well, uh, sh she picked me up and, and gave me a ride. You, too, huh? What? That Pebbles is such a slut. <laughs> we would have it once for 11 hours. When I see her, I'm gonna scratch her slutty eyes out. Man, that woman never gets enough. She's a back-cracking, bone-breaking, fuel-injected love machine. Hey, man, look. What do you know about rich white Anglo-Saxon Protestant debutantes turned hippies? Look, man, I've had more white meat than you've had hot lunches. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, your mama wears army boots. Hey, man. Let's get off Mama's, okay? I just got off yours. Oh, Uncle. Uh, so tell us, Bamboo, was she uh, good for you too? Well, uh, actually, we didn't. I mean, I didn't even touch her. But she said I could have her all to myself after I joined your group. <laughs> <laughs> you fell for the oldest line in the book. She just said that because she wanted you in the gang. Well, look. Now that I'm here, what the hell can we do that'll really get his nose? I know, man. Let's kill somebody. <laughs> yeah, how about Castro? No, that can't be done. They already tried. How about the president? Oh, are you crazy, woman? Hell, we are getting trouble. I know. What? Let's kill Pebbles. Maybe killing somebody ain't such a good idea. Well, then, why don't we... Nah. We could, uh... Oh, never mind. Hey, yo, I'm trying to think, but uh, nothing happens. Oh, I know. We could... Nah. Oh, uh, what if we... Forget it. I know, man. Let's blow something up. I know, man. Let's blow something up. Okay. What the hell are we gonna blow up? Disneyland! Forget it, man. I've never been to Disneyland. Forget it, man. I've never been to Disneyland. Uh, okay, then let's blow up Seattle. No! <laughs> My mama lives in Seattle. <laughs> Hell, she would. 
Then what? How about the CIA building man? How about the CIA building man? Yeah! Uh, hell no, it's way too small. Yeah, that's it. How about the FBI building? Yeah! No way, man. No way, man. Why the hell not? I, uh... I really dig that crazy TV show. I really dig that crazy TV show. The FBI in color. Giuseppe, I'm going to visual. Remove your lens caps and lock down. Okay, Giuseppe, why can we blow up? How about blowing up the IRS building? How about blowing up the IRS building? What the hell are we gonna do? You're in charge, Giuseppe. You decide. I can't be in charge. Why the hell not? That would be entrapment. Entrapment? What the hell's that? Oh, uh, I don't know, man. That's what they always say on the FBI. Well, I don't know, man. That's what they always say. On the FBI. In color. Well, then who's gonna be in charge? You be in charge, Lloyd. Uh, no, I can't. Uh, I got a hell of a headache. <laughs> uh, let's let Rita be in charge. Oh, no. uh, well, I really, I can't be in charge either, guys. Why the hell not? Uh, it's my prerogative as a woman. Besides, uh, I can never make up my mind. Then who the hell's gonna be in charge? What the? I've got a hell of an idea. Whoever has the smelliest shoes is in charge. Heck, okay then. Whoever can't say Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers is in charge and has to decide what it is we're gonna do. Yo okay. Okay. okay then, I'll go first. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Show off. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Top that, Giuseppe. That's easy, man. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. That's easy, man. Your turn, deal, though. Hey, okay, here goes nothing. A pewter a pumper, a pile, a pike, a peckered a pumpers. There. You lose, pal. Okay, he decides what we do. Well, uh, you really want to make a statement? You bet your sweet bippy. Okay. Yo, Pebbles said. I'm all yours after you've proved yourself worthy to the cause. To the cause. To the cause. What was the cause? Are you as willing to give your life for the cause? My life? Well, uh. Of course, man. Of course, man. Okay, then here's the plan. <laughs> We're gonna start World War Three. What? What you talking about, Willis? World War Three. How are we gonna do that? Easy. We take a bag of dog poop, right? And we put it on the Russian ambassador's doorstep. And then we set it on fire, ring the doorbell, and run. How the hell's that gonna cause World War Three? Finish. Then we do the same thing to the Chinese ambassador. When they try to stamp out the fire, they get dog poop on their shoes. I don't follow you. Can't you see? They'll both blame Uncle Sam. <laughs> and start World War Three. Oh, he's right. That's brilliant. Great idea, Topo Gigio. That idea stinks. That's the whole point. Uh, just one problem. Where are we gonna get the poop? 
Hey, you uh, you leave that to me. Really? Let's lay out a game plan. Tomorrow morning, Giuseppe, you and Bonzo go to the Russian ambassador's office and plant the poop bag. At the same time, Marita, you and me take one to the Chinese ambassador's it's office. It's you and I, man. When the war starts, we claim responsibility. No, no, I, can I wrap the poop bags up in pretty packages? Sure, why not? Hey, I thought I was in charge. Why are you telling everyone? It was my idea. Okay, Bosco. Can I wrap the poop bags up in pretty packages? Sure, why not? If we don't go directly to jail, we'll take a chance on the community chest and... and smash their monopoly. Whose turn is it anyway? Ham bones. All right, come on, set. Uh, Twelve. One, two... Ow! Hey, Cujo! I'm the dog! Boy, all they. Oh, sorry. Okay, let's see, 12. Yeah. One, two, seven, eight, thirteen, twelve. Park Place! That's mine! You owe me $450 with a house on it! There ain't no house on it. Oh, yeah? Suck on this, white boy! All right, look, let's quit playing games. We got a big day tomorrow. I need a place to stay. Any volunteers? What the hell? You can stay with me. We could sneak flashlights under the covers and look at my playbos and stay awake all night and talk and make chocolate milk and pop to be pop popcorn. Well, thanks. Uh, where do Better you... if you stay with me, man. That way I can keep an eye on you. Wait. Let's let him decide, but I bet he won't stay with me. What the hell makes you so sure? Hmm. If he stays with me, I'll let him play Connect the Dots. <laughs> hey, you'll bring my pink fountain pen. Okay, oh, it's settled. He stays with Marita. I don't know what you're chewing gum on, but you better have enough to share with the rest of the class. It's my tongue. Your tongue? Yeah, want a piece? That's my George Washington tongue. Quit coming around. If you slash seven, pick three. Just my nose already. Just had it done. Shut. Ouch. Oh, my nose. So many grabs. Oh, my nose. 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 Uh, Dave Forskin on the red phone there, Chief. Dave, my main man, how's it hanging so, brother? Uh, long and skinny, Chief, long and skinny. That's really uptight and out of sight, man. That's pretty good, Chief, you're catching on. Look, I got the inside scoop on that radical gang you wanted us to keep an eye on. The SLY. Suck it to me, Holmes. They're planning the same poop in the bag routine we pulled on Castro last June. But that didn't work. I know, except they're giving one to the Russian ambassador and one to the Chinese ambassador. Tomorrow. Jesus no house Christ. Do you realize what that means? They'll blame us. This could lead to war. Hmm, I don't know. War is not such a bad thing. In fact, I kind of like it. Millions of people's lives, depending on my every decision, kind of gives me a, a rush of electricity. It really makes me feel alive, like like I'm on top of the world. God, I'm a lucky man. I just want to go out and, and sing. Amazing. Whoa, Chief, whoa. Get a hold of yourself. Chill out. The sound that saved... oh. S Sorry, Dave. It's all right. Look, what do you want me to do? Well, we really can't afford another war. You've got to get in there somehow and sabotage those bags. No problem, Chief. We got the Giuseppe 9000 working again. Tomorrow, I'll send him in to replace the real bags with dummy bags. The Giuseppe 9000? You mean that experimental robot with the big afro that, that went ape and killed 11 people in Mississippi last year? Yes, sir, but we've worked out the kinks. Well, I hope so, Dave. The entire well-being of these great United States yeah, whatever. rests in your Catch ebony you hands. Don't let me down, blood. I know you've got a dream. Say, you want to buy some bombs? Hello, Dave? Are you still there, soul bro? Dave? Oh, well, must have been a bad link. Here, checkers. Here, boy. Have a cookie. Come on, take it. <coughs> Stupid butt. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, oh. 
Four ninety five. Hmm. Five ninety five. No. Five ninety nine. No. Six forty nine. Yeah, yeah. Th that, that's the price. Amazing grace. How sweet. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. Nine. Seven. Six. S. H. O. E. Hello. Mistress Aretha. Yes, this is Mistress Aretha. Who's this? It's me. Oh, hi. What are you wearing? My mood shirt, my wig, my jeans. No, on your feet. Oh, shoes. Stiletto heels and steel toes. No, platform walking pumps. <laughs> what size are they? Twelve. Twelve. That's big. Take one. Are they all? Plus toll. <gasps> if any. Hey, do that thing with your lips again. You dirty rat. You killed my brother. <laughs> I still don't know if I can do that. Macy's pool room, eight ball speaking. Uh, uh, eight ball, this is the chief. Did you trace that call? Eight ball, did you trace it? Uh, yeah, negative, Chief. Uh, we, uh, we couldn't. Uh, uh, we, we, we tried. Uh, we, we didn't. It wasn't long enough. What do you mean by that? What's not long enough? Have you been talking to Pat? Hey, you wouldn't drink that if I were you. Why not, Potato? The fizz is probably gone. Hmm. I thought it tasted kind of flat. <laughs> Can you read that sign about the bed? Uh, what about it? I'm a communist. <sighs> Forget it, I just ate. What are you, a homo? Just look at this body. Uh, lose 20 pounds and you got a deal. And what's that? It's my new compact disc. 20 pounds, no problem. Turn out the light. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry, I can't do it. Huh? Turn the lights back on. I'm so embarrassed. This has never happened to me before. I'd understand if it was you who couldn't get it up. But this Shit. is the first time ever that I couldn't get it open. Don't blame yourself. Hey, why do you do that phone sex stuff? Because it helps to pay our bills. Besides, it's harmless. But don't you realize that what you're doing is demeaning to all women everywhere? What are you, a homo? It's rainbow. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. I've got no right blaming you for my condition. It's not that you're unattractive or anything. I guess it must have been my rapid weight loss. Either that, or that unbelievably bad smell that's been following you everywhere. Maybe you got some poop on you when you made those bags today. Or maybe... It's that poop on your shoes. Hmm. I'll take him to the shoe shop for you tomorrow. Ooh. I think it's open now. Hmm. Quick, turn out the lights. Hmm. I'm on top. Uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Ow. Uh, I wish keep it down. Someone might hear us. No, they won't. We had the entire building soundproof. Giuseppe. Come in, Giuseppe. You're breaking up. Check your microphone. Go, Dave. Testing. One, two, seven. One, two, three. Testing. Daisy, Daisy, give me your Giuseppe, answer to. Come in. Do you read? Dave. I thought I'd lost you. Now listen carefully. Go upstairs and get those bags of poop from your Jimbo's room. Take the real poop out of them and replace it with paper cups. I really don't think that's a very good idea, Dave. They seem to be. What do you call it? Testing each other's circuits at the moment. Mm, I love it when you talk dirty to me. Ah, uh, Dave? Mm, listen, forget that last command. New instructions. Get the butter out and roll over. I'll be there in half an hour to test your circuits. And don't forget to leave the window open this time. There's something I should tell you. Uh, you're a communist? I'm really black. What? I mean inside. Oh. Oh. I've always oh. felt I'm a black oh. woman. <laughs> hey, you're a woman. <laughs> you're halfway there. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to tell you. After all this is over, I'm going to Sweden for a race change operation. That's impossible. I've already got the afro. Besides, nothing's impossible. Two months ago, I was Phil Moskowitz dry cleaner from Queens. You're the first real man I've had since my operation. Why are you telling me all this now? Just in case something happens. What could happen? I just got my womb. Oh. <laughs> Whatever. It's the 60s, right? Yeah, it could be worse. I don't see how. <laughs> Adrian! Who's Adrian? Uh, um, my mom. Oh.
this film was rude, offensive, juvenile. There were 97 poop jokes. I counted them. It's a cheap shot at a big star, and it really insulted my intelligence. Did we see the same movie? This is a spoof centered around a public figure, and it's the funniest film I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm my own worst nightmare. Get him. Here's, Here's the, the church. church. Here's, Here's the steeple. steeple. Open the, the door doors and see, see all the people. people. All right, man. See you after the war. Remember, we'll meet at the Statue of Liberty when she's up to her neck in sand. I get to carry the package. Nice wrapping job for a girl. I'd like to see you do better, Spaz. I can wrap packages better than that. Cannot. Can do. Cannot. Can do. Cannot grab. Hey, watch where you're going, you long-haired hippie cubby punks. Load out your poop shoe, clams. Urethra, where are my shoes? Yo, Urethra. You seen my shoes? Urethra. Hey, yo. Uh, she must have taken him to the shoe shine. Oh. Oh, hi, Seppy Giuseppe. Come on, trombone. We're late. Put on Urethra's shoes. Hurry up. Oh, okay. Uh. Oh. Come on. Quick yeah. dollar. Uh, but they don't fit. Faster, why didn't Madame Rosa said he'd be leaving soon? Don't worry, Dior. If we don't make it, it wasn't meant to be. We need to finish Sprouts, Whitey. Uh. Knock, knock. Who's there? Bjorn. Bjorn who? Bjorn Toby Wild. Oh, you want to gumbo? He's downstairs. Sounds like a bluff. Kick the door open. <laughs> Get him! Not now, you fool! I wish I could be in a movie like that. Why does such a chump? How do I always get talking to working with him? He is good in bed, though. Rainbow, we know you're in here. All right, we don't know. We think you're in here. We want our 695. Why are you okay? Yeah. Somebody left a swimming pool in here. Well, get dried off and get over here. Looks like we just missed him again. The fire's still warm, and those are fresh tracks. Let's get back to town and organize a posse. This is the dumbest movie I've ever been in. We gotta warn the sheriff. Eh, give it up. But I was doing good. So what? It's a lousy part. Let's go get plastered. Okay. They smell okay. Thanks. Hey, this way. Oh. Uh, how do we know uh, which of these offices is the ambassadors? We don't. Could be door number one, door number two, or door number three. Maybe he's in here. Hey, look at this. Then, uh. Ruff, 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 ruff. <laughs> Knock it off, yo -yo. We're wasting time. 
you want to go back to my place and practice free love? Don't you want to talk first? No, not really. Let's get out of here. That'd make me feel kind of cheap. Okay, we can talk first. What do you want to talk about? I want to talk about my makeup. More coffee. Uh... Time's up. More coffee. Look, this is the 60s. I don't use words like groovy and far out to talk about makeup. Well, I'm not going back to your place to practice free love. I'll be talking about my makeup. Not very creamer. Keep it down. Okay. What kind of rouge are you wearing? Spit and ash. Hey, Aretha. You know what I smell? Don't talk to me yet! I'm just not myself till I have my morning spit and ash. I smell placebo. I'm wearing his shoes. They remind me of last night and the magic we shared. Besides, I'm still not used to wearing women's shoes. But they stink. You get used to it after a while. Another dough boy. Coming right up. This is the last door. It must be the ambassador's office. Yeah. Uh, comrades, don't you? Uh, just the research. Uh, uh, see? Uh, oh, sorry. Where in the hell's the ambassador? Uh, maybe it's a Russian holiday or something. Don't be stupid. Russians don't have holidays. Oh. God. Hey, look, there's the IHOP answer woman. Maybe she can help. Hello there, Mama. Do you know where the ambassador is? Mm -hmm. Where? He's choking his chicken Kiev in little boy's room. Hey, that must have been him. Yo, thanks a lot. Nice wig. Mm. You got the matches? Yes, in my pocket. You got the poop? Yeah, in my hat. Yeah, Aretha did a nice wrapping job. Show enough. Okay, that's it, man. Wait a second. I gotta get some. <laughs> Got it. All right, we did it. Now I can poke pebbles. <laughs> All right, yeah. Everything is coming smooth. I have the greatest confidence and enthusiasm for the future. I've put myself in my fullest possible use. Thank you. I have very enjoyable game. Everything is running smooth. Everything, 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 everything. Damn those couple of kids. <laughs> that poop really packs a wallop. I better get to the Chinese embassy and warn me. Holy crap, the chief's gonna tan my hide. Inspector Foreskin. I'm gonna tan your hide, Dave. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. You did? Well, how in the hell did you know that? Uh, we got the White House bug. How did you know the embassy blew up? We got the Ruski spot. What the hell happened? I don't know. I told the Giuseppe 9000 to replace the poop with paper cups. Something must have gone wrong. He's been malfunctioning a lot lately. Well, shut him off before he blows up another building. I tried. He's not responding. What? A foreign substance has entered his body. Sabotage. It's the Ruskies, I tell you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, not quite, Chief. I've been sleeping with him again. Damn it, Dave. Don't you remember what happened the last time you slept with him? Yes, sir. I just can't help myself. Oh, where is he now? I don't know. That's not important. Two of the other gang members are delivering a package to the Chinese embassy as we speak. The Chinese embassy? I, I was just on my way over there. You're going to New York, Chief? Uh, yeah, I have some, uh, some very important personal business to attend to. Uh, yeah. Yo, Chief, the supersonic helicopter's ready. Oh, uh, listen, gotta blow, Dave. Uh, take care of this mess, will ya? Where's the naked lady? 
Oh, there she is. Sex is pig. Is it a cootie? No, uh, it's a dancing bug. Don't kill him. Okay, we can't let anyone see us talking, so don't move your lips. This place is crawling with nattering napalms and negativism. Remember, when the big hand's on the two, light the poop package and run. Got it, when the big hand's on the two. Right on. I gotta move the car. I'm in the yellow zone. Yellow zone. Get it? <laughs> Racist pig. chair. Come around the corner. Good. Good. Now look stupid. Great. You look like a real idiot, Clink. Now look at your shadow. Good. Now go into the ambassador's office. Now look stupid. No, that was too stupid. Go back and do it again. Great. Now jog past his message board backwards. God, I'm a great director. Now look through his kaleidoscope. Why would I do that? Just do it. Lights. 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 Ooh, psychedelic. Roll sound. Camera. Camera rolling. Speed. Action. <laughs> now put down the kaleidoscope. Now crawl on the ground like a turtle. Huh? Trust me, it'll work. Okay, now think your line. Where did I put those matches? They're not in my pockets. They're not bingo shoes. They're not my afro. They must be... Now show us your shell. Oh, no. I wrapped them up inside the package. That's good, Rita. Now rip the package open. What's my motivation? You're looking for the matches. <laughs> hey, look, everybody. It's Lassie. Get Lassie. Come here, girl. I need more direction. Hey, watch Lay the down, board. girl. Lay watch, down. Watch Roll right. over. Like this? Now what? Speak. What do you want me to say? Hey, Lassie, get off my leg. Help! Somebody get this one off me. Hey, Lassie, get off my leg. Help! Somebody get this one off me. Now what? What? How am I doing? I cut. Take five, everybody. I got to go clean my chodpers off. Wait. Where's the powder room? I got to go real bad. It's down in the lobby. Hurry up. You've got five minutes. You now have three minutes. You now have two minutes. You now have one minute. Okay, uh, break's over. Let's get back to work. Shoot the chief's henchman. Action. <laughs> Hey, she went this way. You come back here. Oh, 
Yeah, I love the smell of rooftops in the morning. It smells like rooftops. <laughs> All right, Tito. Don't let her get away. I can't even catch a girl. <laughs> I get to be McGarrett this time. I'm not gonna be Dano again. You weren't Dano, you were Chin Ho. Uh uh, Cam Fung was Chin Ho. Then who was Uncle Fester? Chin Ho was Uncle Fester. <laughs> Rita, it's me. Look, here's someone who can help. I just want to talk to you. You got my number. Besides, you still owe me two dollars plus Tony Penny. Now that I finally found you, I've got something that I've been wanting to show you. So I chief, we've trapped him, and we've got his shoes too. Good work, Dano. Just like I'm Chin Ho this week, it's great. Wait, what, how'd you guys get here first? Shortcut. Hey, your shoes on time. I'm not wearing any shoes, you dork! Don't slip on that banana peel. <laughs> Cut the shenanigans and grab her. You'll never take me alive, copper! We're not copper, we're carbon based. <laughs> Can I say it now? <laughs> not yet, Tito. Hold it. All right, now. Book her down, though. Ah! Golly! What happened, Chief? She jumped, Chief. Well, bring me her shoe. I catch women like poop catches flies. <laughs> hey, look! There's that slut Pebbles! Huh? Oh. Now we better go see what she wants. If that slut tries to sell you anything, mm -hmm. get a receipt! Uh, okay. Uh -huh. Hey, where are my shoes? I had to lose them. They were slowing me down! <laughs> oh, hi, Gaspacho. Hi, Phil. I mean, Aretha. Hey, Pebbles. So tell me, was he, uh, she good for you, too? Was what good? Mm, never mind. So how'd it go today? My poop package blew up the Russian embassy. What? That's great. <laughs> well, what about yours, Phil? Uh, I mean, Aretha. My poop package was sabotaged. The poop was replaced with paper cups. Hmm, that's strange. Maybe one of us is a snitch. Hmm. 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 Maybe it's me? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> but it sounds like someone's onto us. Aretha, get back to headquarters and wait there. Aretha, I want to talk to you. Please, are you know those guys? It's those guys from the roof. Just act natural. Like this? That's it. They're still looking for you. Take my hat and coat and they won't recognize you. Good idea, Scarecrow. <laughs> uh, hey, yo, wait. You forgot my hat and coat. Yo, catch. Wow, you really blew up the Russian embassy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Far out, Simba. Hey, didn't your shirt just change color? Yeah, it's a mood shirt. A mood shirt? What's that? <laughs> Changes colors with my moods. It was just white, wasn't it? Yeah. When I'm scared, it's white. <laughs> when I'm mad, it's red. Really? When it's humid, it's green. <laughs> when I'm butterscotch, it's yellow. What does it mean when it's brown? Want a poke? <laughs> okay, but not here. <laughs> we could get a cab. <laughs> That's not very romantic. We could have the cabbie turn the radio on. I know. Meet me at the one-third way house tonight. <laughs> Let me check my schedule. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> now, let's see. This is a special occasion. <laughs> Which piece do I want to use? Mm -hmm. uh, what size are you? <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> nice jewels. Mm. Let's see. I think this one will fit. It'll only cost you six ninety five plus tax and license. You can pay me tonight. Hey, I'll need a receipt. <laughs> you sound like Phil, I mean Aretha. What is it with you and Phil, I mean Aretha? She used to be my boyfriend. Oh. So what time should I meet you tonight? 
I get in the mood around 10. After that, I'll give you all of my hot monkey love. <laughs> I'll be there. You can take that to the bank and smoke it. <laughs> you know, you smell different. Better. <laughs> I'm wearing urethra shoes. Why are you wearing her shoes? Are you two sleeping together? Uh, no. Uh, I'm wearing them because, because they make me look taller than I really am. <laughs> That's a stupid reason to be wearing a wreath of shoes. <laughs> well, I may not be crazy, but I'm stupid. Yeah, I know. That's why I recruited you. <laughs> By the way, where are your shoes? Good question. I run you innocent women and children, or bomb you back to this day, Joe. Oh, oh, boom! Oh, boom! 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 Hey, Franny has those shoes we found at the Chinese embassy. Uh, set him there, Ronnie. Roger Wilco, mommy. I, uh, I see you're playing uh, Napalm the Nips again, sir. And fire shares have rained down from the heavens. Huh? Eh? Sixth sign of the apocalypse, uh, Armageddon, just before the Antichrist appears. Uh, where the hell do you pick that stuff up, Ronnie? Uh, well, uh, the, the, the Bible tells me so, sir. Humbug. That'll be all, Ronnie. Oh. Ronnie? Uh, yes, Mommy? Don't believe everything you read. <laughs> there you go again. Oh, 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 oh Mr. Sir, you may be gone, but your shoes will lift you. Oh, uh, smells like one of Checker's little boo-boos. Uh, Ronnie? Get me the CIA, Lieutenant Yahoo's office. I want these shoes analyzed. Yeah. Shouldn't the um, FBI handle this, uh, Chief? No. I don't trust the FBI. They're on to me. Roger will go, Mommy. Yeah. What a putz. Hmm. <laughs> Here are your new orders. Oh, good. So, how's the shoe testing business? It stinks. We have to talk in private. Don't worry. I know where we can go. First, let me drive you to the baggage claim. The chief's coming down hard on the agency this time, Lloyd. He had me analyze some poop. Oh. Yes, sir. From the bottom of some shoes he found at the Chinese embassy. Chinese embassy? The chemical formula of that poop is identical to a strange residue they found in the rubble of the Russian embassy. He thinks he's being set up. Someone's going to have to take the fall for this one, Lloyd. And right now, it's you. <gasps> Hell, if I'm gonna take the fall. Don't panic. You're safe for now. I've got the evidence. You do? Where? In my bonnet. <laughs> smells like nimbo. It smells like trouble to me. You'd better get the scoop on that poop or your career in the CIA is down the toilet. Thanks for watching out for me, baby. Hey, Mom, <laughs> look! He's kissing the Negro! Shh, don't watch, Billy, or you'll go to hell. This rainbow guy is making us look like chumps, Whitey. And it really chaps my ass. I know. We're the laughing stock of the club because we can't get a lousy 695 out of him. Beyond, someone from the FBI in line one. This better be good. Is this Detective Bjorn Toby Wild? That's my name. Don't wear it out. This is Inspector Dave Forskin of the FBI. Have you been harassing one Jim Ramrock, better known as Rainbow? Yes, sir. What about it? Well, knock it off. We got him under surveillance. How come you big shots have that hippie punk under surveillance? That's for me to know and you to find out. Besides, 
That's classified information. All right, look, we've been ordered by our superiors to retrieve a sum total of $6.95. I don't give a rat's ass about your lousy $6.95. You lay off a rainbow immediately, or I'll have you both peddling your lousy record and tape club subscriptions door to door. Capiche? So what's up, partner? Inspector Foreskin of the FBI wants us to drop the rainbow case. <laughs> Looks like I picked the wrong week to quit taking salt, Peter. You want some? No, thanks. My doctor says salt, Peter, makes me impotent. It does? Well, anyway, I'm not giving in. We're gonna get our money. Or we're gonna die trying. All right, Bjorn. I'm with you, but only under one condition. Okay, Whitey, what is it? I can't think of one now, but you owe me one. Okay. I owe you a condition. Is that a fly in your copy, or are you just happy to see me? Oh, it was a fly. Hey, aren't you wearing my jacket? Yeah, what about it? Nothing. It's just kind of weird, isn't it? Well, it's a weird movie. No kidding. What the? Damn, got a cootie. Dirty hippies. Okay, here's the plan. You ready? I was born ready. Hmm. We drive up to Rainbow's hideout. We knock on the door, run around, go inside, and just miss him again. All right. Want to make love first? I'll be Sandy Koufax. Can I be Roy Campanella? I don't see why not. Okay. But no knucklers, sliders, or spitballs. Butter up. Hmm. Good job. You're fat and lazy. Get back on your perch or you'll never be a Jedi. Stop it, everyone! I'm getting a nosebleed! Hey, is there someone meeting in here? No! You're inside! Okay! Thanks! Welcome you are, yes! Hey, Moonglow, hold the elevator! Hmm. I'd like to stop the elevator and do it right here on the floor. That's a nice wall. Sorry, we're early. I need a smoke. Who's got a cigarette? So that's the guy I told you about, butter. Get your camera ready. Hey, Chief. Cheeto. It's, uh, it's Rainbow. Chief the IA, and so am I. You're all under arrest. What for? For bombing the Russian embassy. Hey, yo, peace, brother. Love. What's happening? Lloyd's a CIA plant. He just arrested us. Say what? We're all under arrest. I really don't think that's a very good idea, Dave. Why the hell not, Giuseppe? I'm FBI, and besides that... I'm a robot. Can't be anyone. No wonder we'd never see you pee. Well, Rita, it's your fault this thing got out in the open. Yes, she left the shoes at the embassy. You can't touch me, I'm IRS. Prove it. <laughs> there she is. Get out of it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Besides, they weren't my shoes, they were day gloves. Yes, this whole thing was Bilbo's idea. Well, if we're the IA, and he's the FBI, and she's the IRS, what are you? Hey. A W O L? No matter, you're all in a bunch of trouble. What you talking about, girl? Show them what you got in your bonnet, butter. It's for me to know and you to find out. Besides, that's classified information. The chief had me scrape this poop off of them. The 
achieve. Yes, and it's highly unstable. In fact, it might even be atomic. I'm I'm scared. Scared. And according to my calculations, it's getting more volatile by the minute. Where'd that poop come from, Sambo? I, uh, uh. I don't remember. Hey, anybody want some pizza? Yeah, with pepperonis. And onions. And anchovies. No anchovies! Okay, but I gotta make a pit stop first. Uh. You can't just let him go. He's our scapegoat. Don't worry, Aretha. I got a plan. You hoo hoo, give me that atomic poop that was hidden in your bonnet. And while he's still in the bathroom, we'll plant the bag of poop in his car. When it blows up, it'll look like he accidentally bombed himself, and we'll all be off the hook. I'll wrap it up like a present, so it'll be less conspicuous. Better if I wrap the package, Spaz. Can it, Aretha? I'll wrap the package. That's telling her, butter. Mm, one scoop ought to be enough. Coffee, anyone? It's fresh brewed. Call me sister, and I am done. Nice wrapping job, Butter. Hmm, I can wrap better than that. Cannot. Can too. Cannot. Can too. Cannot forever. All right. All I gotta do now is plant the package in his car. Butter, go stall him. All right. First, let me go slip into something more comfortable. Okay, he hits one bump and it's bye bye sourdough. Wait, they changed their order. Mm, nice jewels, Mandinga. <laughs> hey, yo, thanks a lot. <laughs> they want sausage, green pepper, liver, anchovies, trout, pineapple, anchovies, butter, sugar, corn, lungfish, copper. Oysters, pickle, lemon, corn nuts, salt. Yeah, you got it. Don't forget the anchovies. Oh, right, anchovies, olives, lemon, Canadian bacon. Did I say anchovies? Grasshopper legs. I got a little surprise for you, pistachio. <laughs> kind of a going away present. <laughs> you always wanted to be a flower child. Well, soon you'll be pushing up daisies. Grass, <laughs> rats, rats, anchovies, and don't forget cheese, rats. black olives, grasshopper legs, cheese. plastic, anchovies, sardines, oh. artichokes, okay, meatballs, sorry. anchovies, styrofoam, peaches, mousse, chocolate. Turtles, anchovies, and sunglasses, hand beef, cardboard, shellfish, mm -hmm. oil, bacon, cheese, okay. meat, tomatoes, mm -hmm. sauerkraut, anchovies, cheese, cushions, tape, roids, Cushions. plums, pork bellies, mm -hmm. ham, wood, red pepper, anchovies, matches, <laughs> tea, hair. Hey, Lamar, did you put that bomb in his car? Bomb? <laughs> Who ever heard of putting bomb on a pizza? <laughs> Batteries to power, turbines to speed. <laughs> I always wanted to say that. <laughs> you kicked the door this time, Whitey. My foot's getting sore. They don't have a shot of me kicking the door, Bjorn. Just you. Damn it, Jim. I'm an actor. <sighs> okay, here goes nothing. <clears throat> Oh, go get a doctor. I'm a card-carrying member of the Screen Actors Guild. I don't need this aggravation. That's the last time I'm sleeping with that producer. Where's Rainbow? Hey, help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. <laughs> Force it, good huh? OK, Rainbow, let's try this again. You know who we are. And you know why we're here. Hey, Bjorn, the catering truck's here. Grab me a burrito, Whitey. They're all out of burritos. How about an egg sandwich? I can't eat eggs. They give me the runs. Give me a, a cheeseburger. Uh, they're all out of uh, cheeseburgers, too. What do you mean they're out? Fruit salad's all that's left. But the cast was supposed to eat first. Yeah, I know. Uh, everyone ate when we filmed you kicking the door. <laughs> okay, everyone, lunch breaks over. Let's get back to work. 37 radical organizations have claimed responsibility for blowing up the Russian embassy today, including the FBI in color. <laughs> Do 
Dear Comrade Brezhnev, we're very, very sorry for blowing up your embassy. Those responsible have either been purged, exiled to Alaska, shot by a firing squad, or killed with an axe. That's axe with a K. Inspector Foreskin, your uh, wife's here. Could you excuse me, Miss Fat Ugly Fart? It's pronounced photographer. I'm sorry, Miss Photographer. The T is silent as in Chevrolet. You mean Chevrolet? No, it's French. I'll get it right one of these days. Oh, hey. excuse me. Watch it, bitch. I caught you making it with the secretary. Huh. No, you don't understand. Oh, I understand, all right. I stay home all day and cook and clean for you while you're having sex with every girl in this office. You know I don't like girls. Why are you here? Aha! <laughs> Flowers. Who is it, Dave? Uh, I give up. Who is it? Don't play games with me. I'll rip your little heart out, chew it up, and spit it back in your face. Whoa, where'd you get that pine cone? Pine cone? What pine cone? The one that's up your ass. Very funny. I know you're having an affair. What do you think of that? Ha! Huh. You slept with that black robot again, didn't you? Yes, once. If it was another man, maybe I could handle it. But a machine... I'm sorry, honey. Don't you walk away from me, David. What can I say? I'm a latent electrosexual. Huh? You're an electro? Why didn't you tell me? I didn't know myself. Yeah, right. I first realized I was different when my buttocks got all goosebumpy around the Hoover. <gasps> J. Edgar? No, the vacuum. The one with all the attachments. Well, I'm not giving up without a fight. I'm not going to let our marriage become just another casualty of post-industrial, capital-intensive, bourgeois mass mechanization. That's great, honey. Look, don't wait up for me. I'll be working late again. You better not see that robot again. You'll come back to me. I know you too well, even if you are somewhat of an enigma. Who you call an enigma? Pebbles! Yo, Pebbles, we can poke now! Pebbles! Hey, yo, Pebbles! Pebbles, where are you? Pebbles! Pebbles! Shut the door. Oh, sorry. Hey, yo, Pebbles. Is that you, Drano? I'll be right out. Oh, okay. Wait for me. done a great job. Yeah. I'm very proud of you. You want to poke? Hmm, I don't think we should. There wasn't any toilet paper. Yeah. Besides, I don't poke radicals. What do you mean? Last week you told me they were the only ones you did poke. Not anymore. <gasps> now I only poke Republicans. What's a Republican? A Republican. They're the ones who believe in the great god Jonas Grumby. In order to become a Republican, you have to dance naked beside a big ugly cornflake and toss your cookies in a bucket of orange plaster. Cornflake? Once you're Republican, you can get up in the morning and eat breakfast, and eat lunch, and eat dinner, then go to sleep, and get up in the morning and eat breakfast, and eat lunch, and eat dinner, then go to sleep, and get up in the morning and eat breakfast. Well, what are you talking about? The first law of thermodynamics says that the universe is in a constant state of entropy. In the beginning, the earth was without form and void. My eyes had seen the glory of the dawning of the age of Aquarius. Eeny, meeny, miny, number nine, number nine. Red leader, I'm going in. Arf, 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 meow. What are you talking about? The universe is expanding, and I'm contracting. Gone with the back to the crab. Since I left the dance, since my baby left me, I found a new place to hide my eggs. You're not listening to me. What are you looking at? 
It's a fly with a human head. I hate when that happens. Hey, you want him? Hmm. I know what you're thinking. You think I'm crazy, don't you? Don't answer. You don't have to answer. I'm paying for the ride. You're crazy. I should know. My nose. That's not nice, Pebbles. You take that back. Don't do it, Pebbles. He deserves it. All men deserve it. You know that's not true, Pebbles. Just let him go. No, no, he's mine. What are you going to do? What are you talking about? Milk toast. I'm talking about milk toast. Sounds good. I'll take one order of milk toast. Then I'll go have a tea party and oh, we can wear our mommy's hats and dress up like little bears. And, and, and when in the course of human score and seven, what you can do for your country. We have nothing to fear, but I cannot tell a lie. I am not a crook. Uh, there you go again, Mr. President. Frankly, my dear, my balls itch. Milk toast, milk toast. <laughs> What are you talking about? Pebbles? Hey, yo, Pebbles! 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 Yo, Pebbles! Pebbles, where are you? I'm right here. Oh. Are the keys in the car? I think I'll go shopping. Hey Pebbles, orgy starts in five minutes. I'm going shopping. Okay, I'll save you a seat. Uh, don't bother. Oh, how sweet. A present. For me. Oh, I think I will let him poke me, after all. Pebbles, where are you? Pebbles, Pebbles. Pebbles. Hey, don't worry, I'll catch you. Oh. She's dead. You've killed her. Uh-oh. Hail Gazebo, the wicked bitch is dead. Hey, Hail Gazebo, the wicked bitch is dead. And LSD, our hero makes a stand to win the sweet affections of the fairest in the land. A Debbie Fox turned hippie, Miss Pebbles Raisin Brand. She's got ideas, she's got a plan. She joins her commie people band. Things get weird, he runs away, and now he has to use his hand. Or so the legends say, Rainbow, Rainbow. Yo, 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 I'm a man called Rainbow. Please don't call me Dumbo. Please don't call me Bimbo. I can walk a gumbo. R E I M B O. You got that. If you don't get it right, you're not worth that. Hey Lloyd, you've got to help me. That atomic poop inside my bonnet leaked out and dried up. I can't get it off. You should have used Tupperware. Oh no, I've got to sneeze. Uh, oh my goodness me. Uh, 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 no. Yo, 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 
Yo, I'm a groove machine, I'm a trippin' guy I'm cool, laid back, I'm slick, I'm fly Like to do my own thing, make love, not war Cause when things get tough, I'm out of the door But the year is 1969 And Uncle Sam's got plans, take the same as mine Yo, 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 yo Can we go to my place while it's still the 60s? I want more coffee! Hey, waiter, more coffee? Coming right up. How do you like it? Hot and black. No cream. It's non-dairy. Sure. And I'll have another one of them biscuit men. Put another dough boy on the barbie for me, Edna. Coming right up! Like Timothy Leary, I'm tuned in, turned on, and dropped off my draft card in Washington, D.C. How to run it with the law, trying to help an old lady to burn her bra. Next thing I know, I'm in Saigon, the rifle in my hand, just a politician's bond. David, I'm only gonna ask you this once. Are you still, still seeing that robot? Why do you ask that, honey? I found motor oil in your shirt collar again. That must be the new hair tonic the chief lent me. You know you don't use hair tonic, Dave. Oh, that's right, I forgot. Doesn't matter. I want a divorce. You can't divorce me, honey. I work for the FBI in color. A Queen Martin production. Melvin says that's irrelevant. Melvin? Who's Melvin? Melvin 7000, my attorney. I still think you're making a mistake, honey. Oh, and uh, by the way, you got motor oil on your shirt collar. Where did I put those potato chips? See you in court, honey. <laughs> Here they are. Yo, 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 yo. Don't mind shooting, but I don't like getting shot. Figure if I'm gonna run, now's as good time as now. Got me some new initials, A W O L, just cause I say take your war and go to Hello Girl. You was the day. Made a flower child in pebble, she says, I'm okay. Yo, 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 yo. She says, honey, you want to join my gang? It's a lot of free loving. When we start to bang, move the box on the Russian stoop. Ain't no atom bombs, just a poodle poop. You know, ring the bell and run away. It's the game all the politicians play. Welcome, gentlemen. I mean, ladies. To your second lesson in how to be a woman for transsexuals. Today, we're going to learn how to walk like a real woman. How to dress like a real woman. How to do your hair, nails, and makeup like a real woman. How to climb a stepladder like a real woman. How to tie your shoes like a real woman. And how to make love like a real woman. Ready? Then let's begin. John, that's good, but you're still a little masculine. The name's Betty. Oh, sorry, John. Good, units. That's very feminine. Hips forward. Good, Aretha. Now put your hands on his shoulders. Huh? Now open up and thrust. Oh. Now fake like you're enjoying it. Probably him again, Aretha. Watch it to you, John. Buddy. Hello. Aretha. Yes, it's me. Meet me behind the Lincoln Memorial. Tonight? Yeah, at 10. Clock? Uh, yeah. Did you get the chicken suit? Yeah, and bring the golf shoes. Don't be late. Ooh! Uh, this get-up's got my nads in a twist. Oh! oh. Yo, 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 yo. 
But something went wrong in the building blue And the gang says, whipping this rap on you Turns out, G is Steffi, my robotic bro Is FBI, microphone needs its pro The Lloyd and your hoo-hoo, they're both CIA She tests doggy doo-doo, he blows me away Will he try it? Yo! I'm really gonna enjoy this. Me too. I've never killed a sleazy producer before. Well, this guy deserves it. Open up, scumbag. We got you now, Mr. Big Shot Hollywood producer. <laughs> Where's the producer? I don't know. He said for me to meet him here tonight. <laughs> Check out the back door, Whitey. That's what he said. Last time this dirt bag ever promises a good part to unsuspecting naive fools like me and Whitey. Mr. Big Shot Hollywood producer, I've got something for you. Open your mouth and close your eyes, and I will give you a big surprise. Funny, that's just what he said. Looks like we just missed him. We're going to Tahiti. Eh, we can't afford it. I'll swim if I have to. Yeah, he's got another picture coming up. If we're good to him, maybe he'll give us better parts. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yo. I forget you, Rita. Rita! She was sweet to me, thanks to Swedish doctors. She used to be a he, but even he, I see. I all rest, so when all is said done, I do what I do best, tuck my tail, turn and run. Away of state, hoping to poke my mama, but she went psycho. Now I'm back in Vietnam, but things are crazy in the States and crazy in the foxy hole. But here, at least, my army buddies call me Rainbow. Well, I thought it was the dumbest movie I ever saw. I give it a thumbs down. Well, I'd like to give you a thumb right up here. Hey, watch it, Doughboy. We're on national TV. Well, what do you know, anyway? You like Howard the Duck. Oh, yeah? Well, your mama wears army boots. You better take that back. Load out your poop chute, Orson. All right, you asked for it. Yo, so that's my rap, that's my rainbow jive. And the record club still out to 695. And then she blew herself up with a bomb that somebody put in my car. I could have got hurt. <laughs> Look out for that ox poop, Rainbow. Mm. Hey, yo, it's. Uh... What'd you call me? <clears throat> to get your uh, free official Rainbow Fan Club peace button, uh, send a self-addressed stamped envelope to the Rainbow Fan Club. It's uh, Post Office Box 931897. It's Hollywood, California, 90093-1897. It's groovy. Okay, folks, show's over. Move along. <laughs>